Welcome back to Site Tech Intermountain Earthworks training videos. In this video, I'm going to do a little bit more in depth with the depth and slope function. In the last video, I showed how to simply bench head, bench elevation, and change cross slope and main fall. Inside each one of these main fall and cross slope has a different option in there. So if you touch and hold on the main fall, for example, most of us are just putting in a slope and a percentage. This does allow you to put in a section in here. So I'm going to demonstrate that for at least the main fall section, and then we'll do a cross slope demonstration. So if I bench head one more time at this heading right here, bench heading, and then with my right tip of my bucket, I'm going to actually change that to the middle of it to average that out. I'm going to do a bench elevation to zero out the middle of the bucket. So from this flat plane right here, Let's say that out by that cone, about 60 to 70 feet out in front of me, I need to dive at a 4% down to that and then climb back up out of that. That's where you would change your main fall here to section instead of slope. So from here on section, you can see that there's none in here, no memories, nothing's made yet. This black box right here, we're going to touch this. No items in here. We're going to add one. So from here, I'm going to use either the focus point of the machine or I'm going to do on screen. For this demonstration, I'm going to show you on screen. I'm going to build it. So my bench heading and bench elevation at the middle of my bucket is the zero and zero axis, Z and Y. From here, I'm going to name this my road slope. Give it a name because these are going to actually save. In here, I'm going to change how far I want it to go out. So I can either pull it with the buttons on the screen or I can key it in. I'll show you two different ways. The first one is this blue button right here. You have to get started by making this section by touching that. Then you could go here and say, okay, about 70 feet out in front of me, I want to drop at a minus 6%. We'll throw that in there. And it's going to build a cross section out in front of me from where my bucket's at. If I zoom out, I went all the way out at that percentage to that point. Now, I can key in more or I can touch and drag it. Let me show you the touch and drag option. If you grab that, you can basically edit what I've got there before. Or you can change by hitting a new one and then taking that one and actually advancing it on. So I'll back back up and we'll hit one more. And I'm gonna go out after that, just to show you for this video, something kind of drastic. I'm only gonna go another 40 feet beyond that, but I'm gonna come back at a 60% positive, just to show you something a little bit more dramatic. It'll show up better on the main screen. So I can create a section out in front of me if you had to draw further than that, you can. If you feel like that's exactly where you want it to end, you can finish it. Or if you needed a mirror image beyond that, there's this button at the bottom right here that's the mirror image. You can mirror from the end or mirror from the original. So we'll just do mirror from the end. And I'll zoom out so it makes a little bit more sense. We built this cross section out in front of me main fall. Once you feel like everything's good there, you can go ahead and save that. You can see that it's saved in here, as, and that's why we named it, and it shows the cross section. The three buttons does let you edit it or delete it if you need to. If you like it, go ahead and hit select. Now it's asking where do we want to be in conjunction to that. So if we wanted to be right there, we can go ahead and hit apply, go out and see what it looks like. What it did is it built it behind us. So we're going to go back into that same option right there, and we're going to use this button to move us down to the end of that. That's why I did a mirror image, so it threw it out in front of me if I move the bucket back to that point. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. So now, as I move my bucket just a little further out so it gets inside that design, you can see as I zoom out that I built a cross section out in front of us in depth and slope, according to what I needed to right there. Now that's just main fall out in front of me. I can still change that cross section if I need to. 
Let's change this to a two view. We'll change this one to 3D. And we'll zoom this one out to show you what it looks like in a cross section. Whatever you need to build, you can do that. You can go in here to level and actually change that pitch to the side if you need it to drain one way or the other. This one would allow you to use that same template to build it to your right if you needed to. What I'm gonna do is change it back out of this. So I'm gonna put that back at zero, uh, change this and go in here. And I'm gonna change this back to slope. We're gonna leave that at zero and I'll show you how to do the exact same thing to our right side in cross section. So if you change this one to section, you can do the same thing. You can go in and use the one that was already built or if you need something different, you're gonna add one. So in this scenario, I'll go ahead and do add. We're gonna go ahead and build out maybe uh, 40 feet to my right here and we'll give that maybe a minus 10%. Then let's say you needed to put a ditch in at that point, that's the middle of the road. You've already figured out what the distances are. You could go ahead and either key it in or you can come down here and hit the plus button and actually create some sort of a cross section after it flattened out right there. So you can build in whatever you need to. And then if you wanted to go back out of that 40 feet, if you needed to mirror it or just punch in some numbers, you can now can hit here and go, okay, let's go out 20 feet. Once we've got a cross section built, we'll save that. We'll select it and then we'll figure out where we wanna be on it. We already know that we wanna be on it at about right there, so we'll hit apply. So now you can see in a cross section view, let's change this. Now I've got a cross section built in depth and slope. These ones do save, but your normal just bench elevation and bench heading do not save. So now you can go cut this. So thank you for watching this video from SiteTech Intermountain on depth and slope, sections and levels.